What's going on guys, Stefan here. Today I'm gonna to take you through 10 drills that will improve your ball control. Ball control is something every single player should master and while these 10 drills are basic, they're challenging and force you to use every single part of your foot while maintaining control over the ball. You can do these drills anywhere you want. All you need is about 10 yards of space. I did them on a tennis court. Field works perfectly fine too. The first drill to get warmed up and to get a lot of touches on the ball is just 500 juggles. Every 100 juggles, you're gonna change what you do. So the first 100 juggles are alternating knee height. Then the second 100 juggles are all gonna be on your right foot. The next 100 are all gonna be on your left foot. The next 100 are gonna be alternating chest height. And then the last 100 juggles are going to be alternating, but every 10th juggle, you're going to pop it over your head, catch it on the other side. The next six drills are all going to be done going back and forth in a 10 yard space. You can either map out 10 yards using some cones on a field or just do as I did and use the lines on the tennis court. So the second drill you're gonna do is just toe touches forwards and backwards in that 10 yard space. The goal with this is to get as many touches as possible in this area. So focus on having quick feet, but maintain control over the ball. Third drill you're going to do are bell taps forwards and backwards. Same idea applies here. Quick feet, lots of touches. Going backwards is quite a bit more difficult than going forwards, so focus on just maintaining control and then as you get more comfortable, then you can speed it up. Fourth drill is going to be inside outside touches with the left foot. Once you do this for 10 yards, turn it around, you can do the same exact thing coming back. Notice how my body shifts side to side when I'm doing this. I'm moving with the ball to maintain control over it. drill is going to be the same thing but with the right foot. Aim for short quick touches. Again we're trying to get as many touches on the ball as possible. The sixth drill, we're going to do inside outside using both feet. So you're going to touch outside to start, cut across your body to your other foot, touch outside, cut with the inside of the foot, outside, inside, outside, inside. It should be quick, sharp, and you should move with the ball. The seventh drill and the last we're going to be doing in this 10 yard space is roll tap. So you're going to roll the ball across your body, tap it with your opposite foot straight out in front of you, roll it across, tap, roll it across, tap. For the eighth drill, you're going to set up two cones about two yards apart. Start on one cone, take a touch to the other side, and you're going to pull back using the bottom of your foot, and then take a touch behind your leg using the inside of your foot. Once you do the pullback, take a touch with the outside of your opposite foot, and do the same thing on the other side. You're going to do 10 pullbacks in total, 5 on each side. The ninth drill, we're going to do V-taps using the inside of your foot. So you're going to pull the ball back and across your body using the bottom of your foot, and then take a touch using the inside of your foot diagonally out. And you're going to do 10 reps, 5 on each side.
The last drill, and probably the most important, is just freestyle dribbling for 45 seconds. Mark out a 5x5 box, use the entire area, use every part of your foot, just be creative, get a lot of touches on the ball. Give these drills a try, do them a couple times a week, and over time you will see a lot of progression. But that's all I got for you today. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Peace.